welcome back to the channel it's been a while since i've been able to get back with you and talk about marvel strike force but i'm excited the month is the end of june 2020 and i want to give you kind of a status where i think we are as we look at july and what's coming in the future so um, number one uh, there's been a lot of good things that have happened in the game i've enjoyed the new teams that have come out x-force um Looks like some more characters are going to be farmable. Sinister finally became farmable, which means I could work on Strife. Um, Toad's going to be farmable in the Blitz store very soon. Uh, they tease that there will be another character farmable in early July, which I assume is Blob in the Raid store, probably, uh, which would make sense because I have got plenty of supplies to farm the heck out of things. So in the um, Blitz store, I have 46,000 credits and 195 blitz orbs available to open once toad hits and the raid store hopefully that's where blob will hit i have um that's not yeah there's the raid store i have why am i so confused where's my 72,000 credits and 42 orbs so i can pick that up and sinister keeps popping in my war store so this is going to be you know progress but that's really taking me down a path of like logic like where is this game when i when i look at this as we approach july and the second half of the year where's the game and i think it's really summed up with one graphic so it's all about war teams and war synergy teams like if you're not working on war synergy teams you need to like just take your teams other teams that aren't on this list just to wherever they're useful so say your defenders if you're working on getting more uh, ability enhancements from that flash event that happens once a month well once every six every month with six weeks or whatever every two two months you shouldn't take your defenders past the absolute minimum to do that and here's why because when you look at offense for war um, you could do up to 12 but that takes a lot of blitz credits and honestly you only have to do eight attacks to get 40 and if all your your entire alliance does eight attacks for 40 then you will full clear now if you want to full clear a little faster maybe or you have to do more than one attack and i recommend having 10 offense teams available but if you look we already have six war offense focused teams like x-men everybody uses those guys on on offense they're one of the key <laughs> teams to be able to deal with some of the defensive teams um x-force who's just coming out now they have a clear use there. Um, I don't have my team up strong enough yet, but they're one of the teams I should work on. Should I work on Wakandans? Should I work on Defenders? Should I work on Guardians or any of the other teams that are do not have specific war bonuses? Nope. If you work on these, at least if you make a really strong war offense team, eventually you could put them in a slot on defense. But uh, other teams just do not have the longevity here. They may have individual members who make sense, but not all of them. Um, Brotherhood 2.0, I've delayed because I couldn't, didn't have Sinister, so I wasn't going to work Strife, wasn't going to work, didn't, couldn't level up Toad, couldn't level up Blob. All those things seem to be getting checked right now, so uh, they make a lot of sense on War Offense too. Power to deal with Shield, because if the, if there's a team that's on defense, you have to have the counter to deal with it. Actually, the counter is more important than having the stronger defense. <laughs> To, to tell the truth if you play like I do where you've been in, in the game since launch so your your squad is going to play fresher whales who have a lot of these teams on defense so they'll be able to clear you but as long as you can clear them back then you can get pretty good rewards every one to get the power, power armor team which right now I'm using vision for eventually I'll have to work uh, Ironheart there Fantastic Four which again is my favorite team um, in comics anyway in the game i don't know if that's exactly true but uh, in comics are my favorite and in humans makes sense to be on defense i don't think that you're all that great on i mean in humans make sense on offense particularly against hydra and some other teams that aren't that great on defense whereas when you flip over to defense you really do have a cap like you don't need to go up to 12 which theoretically you can do on attack if you buy all of the refreshes for energy there are eight slots on your defense, so you need eight teams. Um, five of them are taken. So Asgard, everybody should be working on them to get Black Bolt, so that should be your first defensive team that you really monster. Mercs are amazing, and the only counter, only really solid counter to them right now is Blackwater. So if you take out that on the other side, <laughs> then you're good. Um, then you get into the other 
the other teams, which is Shield and Hydra. They're fantastic on defense and take some pretty strong teams to clear. And, you know, I really don't. I mean, Marauders have some synergy on defense, but I'm just going to put them here because you might as well, given that BH2.0 finally makes sense. Which, if you really stop and think, every single mutant they've ever put in the game has got a use. A lot of other characters don't. So if you have the project, you just can't think of what you want to work on next, just pick a mutant and, and you'll be fine. Like, you'll have the long-term value out of them now. Um, I actually hope with the x-force coming out once they get the fifth member um at some point in the future maybe they just do something reasonable and say hey that x-force makes sense to unlock another mutant character give us a fifth from the marauders uh either omega red or emma frost and they fills out that defensive team to really give them a reason to be there they're not that impressive on defense they're okay but uh Anywho, the current Marauders, anyway. So give them something that actually makes them a little tougher on defense. Because they really are not the same as the other four. Asgard, Merc, Shield, and Hydra are way tougher to deal with than Marauders. So I think they should have something to bring them into at least the the tier. Because <laughs> they take a lot more work. I mean, you've had to just build war, war currency to get... War currency and Blitz currency to get the Marauders team up. Then uh, they should be better than what they are on defense. A little bit. They don't have to overpower the game. But they should be better. Then you get to other teams that are so good that they can really be either. Blackwater is the best team in the game. So offense, defense, wherever you want to put them, they're great. Um, though I would suggest building them for offense first if you play like I do and you need to deal with someone else's mercs, they're the right way to go. Um, Supernatural are great. I particularly use them against Marauders right now. Um, they're just a really flexible team. Symbiotes have a lot of uses, but my favorite is versus Hydra. Uh, they're also very good against Asgard. Aim uh is great on offense and defense so uh they're probably the first one that'll fall off the list and then you have all the other characters in the game all of them but of note are ultron and captain marvel captain marvel nearly makes a defense team by herself but when you fill up your defense you only get eight slots again um just then you can pull her on offense that'll also be fantastic ultron you can just slot him in wherever you want typically on offense now um Though, I don't think anyone would save their Black Bolt to deal with Ultron anymore. Uh, he's more of a Hydra counter. If you add all that up, like, if you've done all those, for what I even have listed, there's only two teams left. Well, guess what? Uh, Fox Next and Scopely are going to keep launching teams until the end of time. So by the end of this year, those two slots are gone with power creep. So it shouldn't work on any other teams. Like work on these will take me easily until I can collect the next two power creep teams. I shouldn't work on Wakandans. I shouldn't work on Guardians. I shouldn't work on anything else because I should wait until the next power creep team lands. And those will eventually fill up this, first the target of 18 to be complete. Then I could get to 20. Um, and then start pulling these teams off. Can you imagine that? Which I assume would start with something like AIM. Um, I don't see how I would get rid of much of any of the rest of these teams. So focus on these. If you have other teams with other uses, like Shield, like not Shield, but Kree, just until you get Nick Fury. Um, Hand, just until you can complete the Catalyst event. You know, like Mercs at least show up on the list here. So work on that gold uh challenge first because <laughs> they have long-term utilization anywho i just wanted to bring that up because this has really been on my mind because there's so many teams with focus now and but there is a, a top end to how many how far they go now past war obviously we can get into uh player the pvp activities that take a little more um you know focus so the uh especially the balanced PvP. So what am I working on? This is another thing that's changed in the first half of the year. I spent a lot of time since my last video working up key characters. Like I finally have my Black Order to level 48 and gear tier 9, so they show up for the balanced PvP mode. Um, I also got Yo-Yo there recently, Crystal there recently. Any of the tools that I might want for the balanced PvP mode, I now have at least in range where I can use them. I think that's very important if you play like me and you can't just take everybody up to a very high level uh, at least get it to entry to balance pvp because that may become an important game mode um, right now i don't think it can be 
because of the logic that people have been describing that, hey, if you're on the right side versus the left side, your characters behave differently. And you got to have a significant advantage if you land on the right side of the board instead of the left side of the board. So that can't work. But hopefully they get that resolved and then they move forward with um, a game mode that might include tournaments or whatnot with some additional rewards. I do have to say that the, the improved rewards for War have helped a lot. I mean, I've completed Sif. She is ready to go for a seven star Black Bolt. I have been making progress on Sinister already since he just, you know, loaded in within the last week and a half. I'll have him to six or seven stars pretty soon. And uh, even for uh, Ebony Maw, I'm well into the sixth star for him now, and he's, his event's not likely to come back till September. So hopefully the next time the Black Bolt and Ebony Maw come come around. I mean, I've finished his gear. He's fantastic on the Cosmic Nodes in uh, Dark Dimension 3. But by the time he comes back around with his event, I could seven star him. Now, Dark Dimension 3, I... I have to be honest, like I did not follow my own advice. I got talked out of doing Ghost Rider before Ebony Maw. And though the logic is true, I'm about to block myself. I smashed the Cosmic Nodes so hard with Minerva, Ebony Maw, Invisible Woman, Black Bolt, and Hella that I'm sitting on the last node and I have zero city characters ready to go. Which is fine. I'm about to take a month to just chill out anyway, but uh don't do that. <laughs> like, do Symbiote Spider-Man first. I shouldn't have done... Like, I may have got a lot of use out of Invisible Woman and Black Bolt, but I'm about to stop here. And then if I had had him, I could have gotten enough mini uniques back out of it, which, to be able to level the other folks. Now, I do want to stop here for just a second on and talk about the Negasonic-ish kind of events. Uh, that's why I haven't posted any videos in a while. At least not this week. I was going to do something on this, but I got so irritated by this specifically. Like, when all the math that I did said that there was no way that I could get to the bio level here to help me with Symbiote Spider-Man, I just kind of shut down. I was like, well, they're killing milestones, and that's really why I play. Um, I'm glad they came back Friday afternoon and adjusted it and put some more orbs in, but I'd already lost Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and most of the day Friday before we even knew that. So that's five of the days. I can't, I couldn't make it up to get to the tier that would have helped, though I am hopeful that the orb milestone event that is coming soon, and I certainly have plenty of orbs prepared for, um, has many uniques in it so that I can, like, advance see me Spider-Man. And for that... I'll just leave it there. Like, that was terrible. I think they've learned from it. If they haven't, it, then it's just going to irritate me more. But I'll be honest with you. Like, the game's not bad. I'm enjoying it. I've, like, put it in its place in my life. Um, I'm enjoying more. Still, like, comics have started to publish again. So we finally got issue number five of Peter Porker's Spider-Ham. And I know how they beat the Mojo universe. It's pretty amazing. Like, with my... Uh, we're also enjoying... Hey, if you ever wonder what Squirrel Girl is... Reading a graphic novel on it, if you her uh, catchphrase is "eat nuts and kick butts," and she likes to talk about computer science and coding, so I think she fits right into Marvel Strike Force. Though, if you looked at my war chart, uh, there's not a place on it for uh, brawlers, <laughs> so I don't know what team she'd be on. Some future synergy team, and honestly, the game. It's a board game called Wingspan talking about birds and i haven't figured out how to play even a single round yet but i'm trying uh there's been a lot of great games that have been released like these things are keeping me entertained marvel strike force has its place i don't think it belongs in the center of my life but uh playing it is fun like working with my alliance um but these comics games that are really fun and don't just push me to spin uh, as well as other star wars games that have been announced lately like uh, star wars squadrons looks very interesting I'm still playing Star Wars uh, Fallen Order because I'm slowly working through that just to enjoy the story. But that's where my fun is. And uh, just to let you know, it'll be a while before I can post again. Lucky enough to be able to get out of the house and uh, move locations for most of the next month. So uh, I'll be able to check in and build, build some thoughts during July that I could share with you again in early August. Happy to engage with you in chat 
in any of the previously posted videos between now and then if you have any questions. Also hoping that we see Symbiote Spider-Man Milestones return. I, I, don't, I was wrong. I've been wrong three times. I'm not going to guess again. Like it, I thought it was going to be June 10th. It wasn't even June 24th. Will it be in July? They said it would be in July. Um, I really want them to come back. I have enough gold to spend to the max. I'm going to get all the T4s out of it this next time because the gold is just piled and piled and piled up. Like You can only see uh, 9.7 million of it here, but the real stash of gold isn't there. It's in the 178 gold orbs that I have now, plus all the gold that we'll earn between now and the end of the event, which will include probably two of the Merc paydays. So plenty. I actually had to stop and do the math and say, hey, I need to spend a million gold a day. So that helps me get all those characters to gear tier nine for the balanced PVP mode, as well as I'm about to push harder on finishing the black order to make them a solid Merc counter. Um, it takes a while when you're free to play. Like I'm free to play. I don't spin anymore. So I, I, I've gotten past the point of wanting to spin. But uh, there's so much to do, it'll take forever, so I don't need to. And with that, I hope everyone's having a great and safe summer. And uh, enjoy Marvel Strike Force. Enjoy the other things, too. Comics are back. Go, go read some. They're hilarious. Spider-Ham and Squirrel Girl are off the beaten path for me. I'm, I'm still waiting for my back issues of Fantastic Four to get here, but they're a lot of fun to read. Uh, and then just find other fun things to do. It's the summer. Get outside. Take care.